Thank you. An employee says he was fired days after he reported finding a noose at his job site. That employee says he discovered the noose the same month he reported other inappropriate activities. The investigative unit, Chris Nakamoto, spoke to that employee and his lawyer. He's got more on what the company said about it. Sylvia Michael, that employee worked for performance contractors at a job site in Morgan City. He says as recently as last week, Human Resources in Baton Rouge was investigating how the noose got there. Today, though, the company's attorney called saying that's a pulley they use on the job site and claimed the employee making the allegation was fired for bad work performance. This short video shows what appears to be a noose found by a welder at his job site in Morgan City last month. You can clearly see the knot and the rope wrapped around a pole, which would make it next to impossible to pull anything up with it. The fact that this young man was terminated for basically whistleblowing on things that were happening to him at, at the job, I think is irrep irreprehensible. Ron Haley is representing the welder. He thought they had squashed it. Who says days before the suspected noose was discovered, he had reported other threats from employees who work at the same business. There was a, a verbal altercation between my client and, and a co-worker where that co-worker made verbal threats to do physical violence to him while on the job. He does like anybody's supposed to do. Instead of taking things into his own hands, he goes to his immediate supervisor, the foreman. At that point in time, he is told that he may be in trouble for speaking out against that issue. Performance Contractors Corporate Headquarters is located in Baton Rouge, but this job site was in Morgan City where the incident occurred. The individual involved says he first reported problems on August 12th. He was then moved to another module. But on August 15th, he said his work was being sabotaged and that he had to keep reconnecting his hose. On his way back up, he found what appeared to be a hangman noose. That is uncontroverted. That is what it is. There's no other excuse for that hanging there. He then reports that. Those who did it, not gone. Those who committed or threatened those assaults against him, not gone, but yet he's the person that's terminated. Well, we reached out to performance contractors about this. A woman in their marketing department said she'd be back in touch. This afternoon, we got a call from the company's lawyer, well-known defense lawyer Murphy Foster, who said the rope is used to lift things on a platform. And the company did not fire the black employee for reporting the news. What he said, that they make it very uncomfortable. Tonight, Haley and his client says they've never used ropes like that to lift heavy equipment onto the platform. Do a real investigation. They need to be transparent, open the doors for the authorities to come in and, and do a top-to-down investigation as to his allegations, but also does anyone else have similar stories there? Again, that is jarring. I think for any black person on the job to see a hangman's noose, and again, this is, the, the video speaks for itself as to what that was, uh, is definitely a hate crime and it is definitely intimidation. Displaying a noose is against Louisiana law. If convicted, it's punishable by up to a year in prison and a $5,000 fine. It does not appear that law enforcement was ever contacted to investigate. Performance says the knot in question is an arbor knot and one that is regularly used. The company says an employee was using it to lift a tool bag. Their full statements on our website, WBRZ.com. Sylvia Michael, 